Hello everyone! Today I would like to start out my video by giving a big, big, big thank you to all of you amazing subscribers. A couple days ago I reached 100 subscribers and I know that's not super special or anything like that. It's not like a thousand or something, but considering I've only been posting since about January of this year, that's really big and so just want to say thank you for that. And then I will also be making this video for you guys as kind of a thank you. This is a super, this is kind of my trick to keep horses from getting ear rubs traveling to a model horse show. And it's my personal trick and I'm going to be sharing it with you all. Now, the things that you're going to need for this, obviously get your horse, make sure the horse is clean. Dust your horse before you do this. You don't want to trap dust in the horse at all. And then you are going to need a pillowcase and get one that you are willing to cut up. Get a pillowcase you're willing to cut into little pieces because that's what you're gonna do. What you want, just cut a whole lot of just long pieces like this. It's really all you need. Just get a whole bunch of them. Super cheap, it works, and it doesn't flake off like toilet paper does. It doesn't make a mess, and it protects your horse pretty well. And then, just as kind of a little backup type thing, not really a backup, but whatever. Just get a paintbrush, one that has kind of a skinny little end to it. Nothing much, you don't need anything special. It doesn't have to be a clean brush or anything. You're not actually painting your horse. So just get one of those and we are going to start. So let me kind of zoom in on this guy. Let me get him where I'm actually going to be working on him. You go here, zoom, no, stop zooming. There we go. Hopefully that's enough. Let's get the camera down just a little bit. Just want to make sure you can see what I'm doing. All right. So how we're going to start this is take the piece, take the very end, Put it right in between your horse's ears and then you're going to go over go over that again so you cover it so it's not going to fly everywhere and then at this point you're going to start with kind of a figure eight formation of sorts over and between or for, just go between your horse's ears go over his eyes too because eyes can get rubs pretty easily as well and then kind of keep going on this until you have a lot built up between his ears and once you have enough built up between his ears that's where you start just going right over them and keep in mind do not wrap super tightly just go pretty easy if you go too tight you'll defeat the purpose and give him ear rubs so obviously we're trying to prevent ear rubs here all right and then you'll start going over that middle part again. Just kind of keep going how it'll work for you. And then once you get to the end, let me turn them around a little bit for you. Take your end piece, tuck it into there. And the what the paintbrush is used, what the end of the paintbrush is used for is if it's a part where it's kind of hard to reach your finger into there, you can just kind of push the end through and pull it through like that. Super easy. It protects your horse's head. It kind of mummifies his head and it's super cheap, super easy, and you can reuse this year after year. And then once you get to the show, all you got to do is just boop, take that off and it comes off very, very easy. And then once you get used to this, this is like second nature. It's so easy. It's so easy to put this on right before you pack your horses. It's easy to take it off while you're unpacking your horses. So just a whole lot of good stuff going on there. And that's really all there is to it. This is the one of my favorite ways of preventing ear rubs. I don't have to worry about toilet paper. I don't have to worry about paper towels, anything like that. And you can also use this method as well. If you have like a custom horse, you can wrap your 
entire custom. You can wrap your entire custom in this. If you're if you're scared that he might break, you can wrap a fragile tail in it or something like that. Just lots of fun stuff. This is not my custom, by the way. This was a spring fr sp spring fling swap pony. So happy with him. Anyways, so there we go. I hope this helps you. It's super simple, nice and easy. It has prevented my horses from getting ear rubs. I've never had a single horse come out of this with a new ear rub. All right, so I will see you later. Wild Spirit out.